Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, anaerobic cellular respiration. So if we uh, start with a cell and we bring our glucose inside the cell and recall that regardless of if oxygen is present or not, <clears throat> we're going to begin uh, with the process of glycolysis. So you know, if your mitochondrion is down here, we don't even need to utilize that organelle. Okay, so here we go. The, uh, the glucose is going to be converted into two pyruvate molecules. And that's going to produce two NADH molecules from NAD+. Plus. Uh, recall that's removing those electrons from the molecules, and that's also going to give us a, a net of 2 ATP. Okay, so here we go. If there is no oxygen, instead of the pyruvate entering the matrix and proceeding with the Krebs cycle, we're going to remain in the cytoplasm or the cytosol, and this pyruvate is going to be converted to lactic acid or lactate. <clears throat> and in order to do that, the NADH molecules have to give their electrons back to the pyruvates, recreating NAD+. So the actual process of fermentation, I'm going to kind of outline here in green. I don't know if you can see it real well, but this is the fermentation step. The pyruvate is converted to lactic acid by um, NADH giving electrons back to those molecules. That recreates your NAD+. Plus. Okay, why does the organism want to do this? The recreation of the NAD+, plus allows for the continued breakdown of glucose into pyruvate. In other words, the production of NAD plus allows for the glycolysis process to proceed. Okay? And the reason that we want glycolysis to proceed is because it produces a little bit of ATP right there. Okay? So without oxygen, glycolysis breaks into pyruvate. It yields 2 ATP and ADH. If there's no oxygen, the pyruvate is going to convert to lactic acid, recreating NAD+, which allows glycolysis to proceed. So fermentation in and of itself produces NAD+, which then allows glycolysis to continue, producing um, a small amount of ATP. But again, this is a backup mechanism. Um, you know, you're, you're kind of you know, potentially putting your body through a very rigorous activity of some kind, so you go into oxygen debt, and this is the uh, sort of like your backup plan to create enough energy to get you through. Okay. Now, some organisms don't perform lactic acid fermentation; others perform uh, ethanol fermentation. So you're looking at the same uh, basic process where your glucose is converted into pyruvate. But then, the pyruvate, instead of converting to lactic acid, is converted to ethanol. And this is going to be um, alcohol fermentation. That process does yield carbon dioxide, but it still cycles the NADH back into NAD+ which allows, again, your glycolysis process to proceed with a net of 2 ATP. Okay, so an organism such as a yeast performs ethanol fermentation. You produce the carbon dioxide, so if you're making bread with the yeast, that's going to produce the, the air pockets in your bread. If you're making beer, this produces the carbonation in your beer. And then obviously you get a, a waste product of ethanol, which is the alcohol. Of course, you don't have alcohol in bread because the boiling point of ethanol is uh, low 80s, and you're usually baking bread at, you know, several hundred degrees, so you're going to boil off your, your ethanol. Okay, so this is 
Ethanol fermentation piggybacked with glycolysis.